it's Sandy and we are getting ready to make our stork wreath and there's a lot of parts to this so you got to really pay attention um, I know some of you have said I can't see what you're doing or can you be a little bit more specific and I have to be honest with you I don't know everybody's way of learning so all I can do is teach you the way I know best um, so sometimes I always say watch the video again. I'm not really good at writing instructions out where people understand me. So the videos have worked really, really good. So if I say glue this feather boa in a circle, just glue it in a circle. I mean, I don't know how else to explain that. And then, of course, I added my little wing on here. How cute is that? Look, I chicken little. Um, birds of a feather flock together. Some of you have also asked me if I have a YouTube channel. And yippee, yes, I do. So this one, when it's done, I will do some editing to it and I will get it on my channel. So if you click on my name and any Facebook group and scroll down just a little bit, all the wreaths that I have put up, all the clutch purses, you'll be able to find them on my YouTube channel and anything else that we start to post so I do it this way just so I can get it up and then I have some editing to do so I told, told everybody Friday and we're going to be working on this now the majority of the items that you're going to need are sold at Dollar Tree if you can't find it at Dollar Tree and you have to spend a little bit more remember to use coupons no matter where you're going or watch the sale papers so the first thing you're going to need is the round floral wreath from Dollar Tree these are 9.8 inches. So if you go to a craft store because you can't find it at Dollar Tree, just get a 10 inch. The next thing you're going to need is this round piece of foam. They're sold in a two pack at Dollar Tree. And this is five inches round. And I would say it's about a quarter inch thick. So if you decide you want to use something else for the head, that's entirely up to you. Then I already have this glued on here, but it's going to be just like the flamingo. What you're going to do is you're going to cut off two pieces of wire, okay, with your snips, and you're going to poke it into either the styrofoam or here, and then stick it onto your wreath, okay? So I pretty much have my head attached. See, it's pretty firm. And then I added hot glue around it, okay? So you're going to need that floral wire again if you bought a package. If you don't have any, they sell it at... Um, they sell this at any craft store. You get like a dozen of them for $1.99. It's 16 gauge, and I want to say they're um, about 16 inches long, something like that. And then you're going to need our plastic canvas again, and this is for the body so that you have a way to get your feathers on here. So back to Dollar Tree items, you're going to need feather boas, okay, you're going to need Look how pretty that is. I should just make a, I should make a t-shirt out of it. I might, I think I'm going to make a t-shirt out of this. How fun would that be? Maybe I'll put some Velcro on a t-shirt and then put this on there. Oh, now I got another project to do. Okay, so you're going to need four of these in white. Here's the other problem. Dollar Tree doesn't carry these all the time. So you might have to go onto their website and see if you could order maybe in bulk. They don't have blue, so if you're having a baby boy, it won't work, but you can find them at other craft stores. The only thing is, when I checked Joanna's store, they were $5.99 for one at Dollar Tree. Of course, they're a dollar. So check your Dollar Tree, and if not, go online and see how many they're asking for you to buy in order for you to make these. If you make them and you start to sell them, it might be worth um, buying them in bulk. The next one you're going to need is a pretty pink one, okay? So, you know, you can use these for other things. So if you have to buy a case, come on, you can do fun things with these. Okay, so one of these from Dollar Tree. You're going to need some Lay's from Dollar Tree. These come in a three-pack, just these long ones. But I went with the four-pack, so I have the two for my arms, the one for the headband, and then this one. So I just went with the four pack, but you only need one of these. But if you're going to spend the money, then buy either this pack or the three. And don't buy the single one because that's silly. You can have some other parts to work with for other craft projects. Okay? The next thing you're going to need is a bag of googly eyes. And, of course, you can buy one, you know, two eyes or I think they come in pairs in the craft store. And then it costs more money. So just buy the whole bag because we'll be making other things and then you'll have them. You're going to use the biggest eye in here. And of course you need some eyelashes for the eye on our, you can see the eye, okay? So there's the eye. And of course you're going to need 
some embroidery thread. So when you go for your plastic canvas, the plastic canvas is, again, they come in sheets like this. So you can see, that's where I cut out the base for my body. And that is where I cut the little head at, which is right here. I'll show you how to do that in one minute. So if you get a full sheet like this, they're $1.99 at most, most craft stores. And while you're there, you're real close, maybe an aisle over, get your embroidery thread. You don't have to get two of anything. You can work with one. The only reason I like to work with two is because you get the legs wrapped really, really fast. Or even if you're doing any type of fairy or mermaid, it works best with two. That's my preference. doesn't have to be yours. And then for the beak, I got two colors. For the beak so it just kind of blends in but again you don't have to do it that way anything I'm telling you to do if you want to change it up do whatever you feel comfortable with then you're going to need of course some zip ties and these zip ties of course are to put on your canvas the reason we do this canvas is because it's just the easiest way you might want to use um, like a poster board, not poster board, but that foam board Dollar Tree sells, but I don't know how the feathers are going to stick to it. I don't know if you put the glue on the whole roof. I don't know any of that. I use this because it's what works best for me, and I'm just going to show you real quick that we're going to take this, and we're just going to stick it through like we did last time. Okay, so I know some of you say, well, I can't see what you're doing. Can you change things? You know what? I'm trying different things. I do have a new video camera. It does not tilt down. You can't see what I'm gluing. You can't see what I'm doing. I try to always hold stuff up so that you guys get a good idea of what I'm doing. If I say glue this side, you don't need to see me gluing it. Take the glue and glue it there, okay? So that is there. And then just do the other side. And you want to do all four sides just so that it's nice and secure. When you add your feathers and it doesn't fall apart on you okay so just pull that through Ooh, it's giving me a little bit of a tough time there that's why it's always good to have some kind of plier near you while you're working pliers scissors things like that okay so you're just going to snip those two off and then the other thing you want to pick up when you're at the craft store is your felt and i didn't know what i was going to use as a baby in there so I winded up getting a package of the Disney, and you can see little baby uh, Donald Duck is in there, and then I have a little baby Minnie Mouse. So I figured I can, uh, this one's glued in there, so when you tie your little knot, you just glue it in there. So you see that we have, this is the back of it. Here is your plastic canvas, okay? This little piece here is for the wing because we put the wing on there now, okay? So there's the wing because something was missing and my son said, Mom, it needs a wing. And the wing is really cute, isn't it? Okay, so now what you're going to do is <clears throat> after you put your two pieces of wire, now it's no different than the flamingo. If you watch the flamingo, you're just going to take two pieces like this Okay, you're going to take two pieces just like this. I'm not measuring it. I'm just kind of estimating it. You just want enough, okay, you just want enough to be able to stick it in here, okay. Now, this is not the way I'm doing it. I'm just showing you. You need it long enough to stick in here and stick in here so that you can poke it into here like I have it here, okay. So you can maybe even see, <clears throat> see right here. See the green? But I have it glued in there, so it's staying nice and tight. And mine is pretty long right here, so you want to use glue on it, too, to, to make it nice and tight. And that's your head, okay? So look, my head's pretty tight in there. I'm just going to add a little bit more glue to the back side. So you're going to need a glue gun, too. You're going to need a lot of glue guns, so make sure you pick up extra glue sticks so that you have more than enough. Now, when you start to glue your feathers on here, okay? This is something you want to keep in mind. Look at the end here. You're going to notice this rope, and that is what all your feathers are attached to, is like this rope here. This rope is what you're going to, little by little, don't go all the way because then it's going to fall apart on you. You've got to go here, then go here, then go here. As you're gluing it, you want to get as close to that rope and not the feather for it to stay on because the feather is going to, it's not going to hold it. You need to get to the rope. 
So what you're going to do is, this is the way I did it, and you can again do it any way you want. What you're going to do is you're going to start at the head like this, and you're going to start gluing it down. Now I'm not going to do a, two, a full tutorial here. I'm just showing you the basics of how to do this, okay? So you're going to start gluing this down, gluing it down, gluing it down, and you're going to do the whole outside of your wreath, okay? So then you have feathers all the way around. Take this little piece here and finish off your head, okay? So you're going to have your whole head done, just like I have here, okay? So take it and start here, start your feather here, go all the way around, all the way around the wreath. Now you have a, a like an outside fluffy frame of the feathers. Then what you're going to do is after you have, you started there and now you got a whole frame of feathers, you're going to take another one and you're going to start the inside. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to go around and around and around. And you're just going to keep gluing it in there in like a full circle, like a swirl. So just keep going round and round, okay? So again, we have the whole frame in feathers. Everything's done. You even had a little bit of extra for you to finish your head here. Then you're going to take your next one and you're going to go on the inside, okay? And you're going to go round and around and around and around and around in the center. And if you go around and around and you have more than enough, if you think you have enough, I use three. So mine's really, really full. Then go up and again, put it in the face. Just glue it down there really good. Glue it on the rope, okay? Then once you're done with that, you're going to take your pink boa and you're going to just cut it down however long you want it to be. But don't waste it. So if you only want it to be like this long, then cut your boa so that you have this rest of it to do something else with it, okay? And then you're just going to tie it. Just going to tie it on there, just like that. Just tie it like you would a regular scarf and put it on there. Okay, now, before you put your feathers on your head here, remember that piece I showed you earlier? Where's that piece at? This piece right here, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to lay this circle on here just like this okay so you see I laid this circle right onto my canvas and I traced it just like I would a baseball cap and once I traced it see I traced it out here I gave myself a little bill and I just made the little curve there and that is what gave me this Okay, so I'm going to show you real quick. I'm actually going to glue this on here so you guys can see what this looks like. So here is going to be my bird, and this is the way the bill is. Okay, so you can see the bill sticking over. Okay, and you just add a little glue. You don't need a lot of glue on this. Okay, you don't need lots and lots of glue. You just, because this is clear through plastic. And we're just doing that so that we have a way that we can add our lay to it okay so that's all you're doing so maybe it should actually be up a little more I think like that yeah there we go because if it's flying then the bill is up and it's not in the way of okay so just make sure your body is this is your body flying this is the bill so we could even do it even more like that so you want it on an angle like I have this one so the bill is not in the way of her eye or the beak, okay? All right, so this is glued on, okay? So then you do this. So you're doing this before you start your feathers on the face, okay? So maybe you should even do this first. So get your frame together, put your canvas on here, measure this out, stick this on there. Now you have your whole completed frame. Then you can start the outside of your feathers You'll have that all done, and then you can start, you know, just adding your feathers in as you go. And remember, you're going to use the rope as you start to go in a circle as you're adding your feathers. Then you're going to tie on your pink, and then for this part here, right here, for this bill, when you're wrapping the feathers around, you're going to notice your head's going to be full of feathers. So you might have a few, like mine is here, that have this little thing here. So all you have to do then is use this canvas piece and go over and glue these on. So this part right here is I actually 
broke these apart and I'm going to take one apart just so I can show you because there's something that I used for the eye on here too. Okay, so here is one of the small lays. Okay, so I'm going to cut it. And this is what I did. Once I have the feathers on, all you're going to do is like a little headband. Come here and start gluing these in here. Just overlap them, overlap them all the way over the feathers. And then you'll notice that you'll have some cute little feathers that are sticking out at the top of the head. But that's because you went around the whole outside first with feathers. And then you just fill this in. So when you put your feathers on the face, you can even leave a line there if you wanted. Just, you know, you, you could, if feathers are loose, so you can pull them out and glue them in there however you want them, okay? So that's really, really super, super easy. Okay, so we got that part done. And then, like I said, just take these flowers off and just glue them in there. Glue them across. That's all I did, okay? So we got... The body's all done with feathers. We got the head done. We have this part done. Now we're going to do the legs real quick. Okay, what you're going to do with the legs is you're going to take one piece of your long 16 gauge wire and you're just going to cut off a little piece so that you can make the foot. And for the foot, all you're doing is cutting off enough to get it on a full piece of wire. Now this 16 gauge is kind of hard to bend. You're not bending this one. The one you want to bend is this one. So you really got to like twist it on here and the way I found works best is to use um, a pair of like pliers to do it because then it's just easier on your fingers and everything. Okay, so we have it bent. And when we have it bent around there, again, if you can come up with a better way to do it, I think you should. And then all I did is once I had it completely bent, I add a little glue in here to hold it in place. Okay, so you just add the glue in there. And that's just going to hold it right where you want it. Okay, so this is our, this is our little claw. Okay. And you could bend them up a little bit or whatever you want to do. If you want to bend them up, just use your pliers and bend them up a little bit. Okay. Need a little more glue. Add a little more glue to both sides. Okay, so that's all you're doing for the, for the foot part. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to do it just like I showed you in the last one. You're going to take your white... For the legs and you're going to wind this up so I'm going to do this one for you okay all you need to do is again I this is how I do it watch your fingers I need to get those things everybody keeps telling me about okay so you just put a little bit of hot glue on there and you start to wrap it Okay, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. We're going to go all the way down. And see, like, that's why I like to use two. See how, um, and then you could just start to wind it like this. If you don't want to go round and round with your fingers, just twirl it. And you'll notice that it's all getting done. Okay? So it's nice and thick. You don't have to redo it. You can do the same thing with the fairy dolls on this. Um, two is more than enough. If you work with one, you're going to have to go over it again so that you don't see the green wire. Okay. So keep going, keep going. I'm getting tangled here in my little claw. Okay. So this shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes. I mean, there's some things that just don't take that long to do. So don't, you know, I hear some of you, oh, I'm a little afraid. Don't be afraid. you got to go for it. Fight the fear and do it anyway. Right? Isn't that what they say? Okay. And that's the only thing about embroidery thread. When you're working, sometimes they get tangled. 
Okay, winding, winding, winding. And then what I would do is I would do both feet and put them aside because you're going to do the same thing with the yellow beak. So you're going to make a long yellow beak. Okay, we're winding it, winding it. When you get to this part here at the bottom, all you do is pick a side, wrap it around, just cover it completely with the white just like you did the rest of it. Come back down, go around the middle part, so it's all connected, you don't have to cut anything. So you just keep winding it, winding it, winding it, come back down again, and then start white winding it again, and then you've got your last little piece here. Okay, and then all you're going to do is snip this. Add a dab of glue. Wrap that around. Okay, so there's one little claw. Okay, that's it. That's all you're going to do. And then you're going to bend it somewhere in the middle. That's about all you're doing. See how I have it? all you're doing is bending the little leg and then as you can see I did it just like I did the stork you just stick them up in there so take one that doesn't have any thing on it and stick it in there just to give yourself a hole and when you bend both of these so this one's kind of long you're gonna have to cut this this is probably big big enough for two so this is probably half of one of these I didn't really measure it out so let's see if you have one then all you would have to do is, this is probably more than enough, so just put one on there. Okay, so we just cut that in half, do the other leg, and do it this way. Yep, that's good enough. See, look. And just add the foot in there. See? That's big enough. So just twine one up, and there's your little feet. Just stick them right up in there. Stick them right in the foam, like this. Okay, that's all you got to do with your little feet. Okay, so now you got the feet on there. Now we're going to do the beak real fast. Now the beak, all you have to do is figure how long you want your beak. Okay, so if you want, what I did was I took a piece of wire and I folded it in half. Again, the 16 gauge is a little tough to work with, but you need that much um, to work with because the other one's too flimsy. So if you go with a thinner gauged wire, it's going to be harder to work with because it's going to be too flimsy. And then you're not going to have anything sticking the way you need it. Okay, so you want to try and squeeze it together as much as you can for your beak. Okay, and there you go. So here's my beak, which it seems to be about the right size that I need. This one's a little bit longer. So see what I mean? It's just a little bit longer than this one. So you can just decide on how long you want it to be. And again, you're going to do the same thing. You want to put glue in between here just to keep it from kind of crisscrossing. Okay, just like that. Okay, so now it's put together. And again, all you're doing is wrapping the beak. Okay, so here's my two ends. Where's my other end at? Oh boy. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I like I said, I like to work with two. And I'm going to start on this end here because this is the end that finishes it off. Or no, actually, yeah, I want to go here because I want it to finish off on the back end. Okay, so you might have to add a dab of glue on the tip of the nose right here just so when you're wrapping this it has something to stick to okay so you're going round and round and round again that's all you do for the beak that's it 
So a lot of things are just really pretty easy. You just got you got to do the steps that it's going to take. You know, put your frame together, then put your white feathers around, um, put all three on, then do your lay at the top of the hat, then do your scarf, then add your feet, then add your beak. Okay, so here is our beak. And with the beak, you want to make sure you're using, like I said, a thicker gauge because otherwise it's not going to be, it's not going to work real well. You're going to have your embroidery thread constantly moving on you like this. Now what you can do is you can add a little dab of glue in there and that should prevent that from happening. Then you're just going to cut this off. Okay. Add a little glue. Add a little glue. Okay, so our beak is done. And again, all you're going to do for your beak, so let's see, it's flying that way. Just stick it into there. That's all you do. Okay, so your beak is stuck in there. You might want to add a little glue around it. Then, what we're going to do now, the eye, I got to show you with the eye. All right, let's do the eye real fast. I want to show you something with the eye. When you take apart your lay, you see these little white tubes in here? All right, because you have so many feathers on the face, you need something to make the eye pop out because you don't want it pushed in. So what I did was I took an eye. Here's my eye. Here is one of those plastic tubes. You're just going to put some glue on the back. And you're going to glue that to the back of it like that. See that how it's on there? And you're doing this because this is going to go right on to, in the feathers and everything, just like this. And it's going to give you that little bit of an outward pop that you need so that the eye is not sitting real far back in the head. Okay? The same thing. And you might have to, you know, put some glue around it, put some glue around it, make sure it's nice and steady on here so that it doesn't fall over on you. And you got to use hot glue. Don't, you know, a lot of people will message me and say, can I use this glue? If I'm using a certain glue, go with the glue I'm telling you to use. Um, this is just glue guns. If I tell you to use liquid adhesive from Dollar Tree, that's what it's called. There's no other name for some things. And people will message me, well, what's the name? That is the name. There is no other name. I will tell you what you need um, when we do the videos. So see, there's our eyeball. And then what you're going to do is, come on, what stork doesn't need an eyelash? So we're going to do the same thing. And you're just going to add a little bit of glue to the outside of the eye and I've never put an eye, a false eyelash on in my life so this is all new to me like I don't know how people do that every day but I have so much trouble with my eyes I try not to put um, too many things on or around my eyes or anything like that so look how quick that was so now our eye is ready and all you got to do is take it like I said Figure out where you want it to be on your stork. Make sure it's right side up. And now it's going to stick out far enough for you to put it on there in through all those feathers and put your hot glue. What I would do is I would take and kind of make room in the feathers, like where you feel the plastic, and then glue this in there. Okay, so then glue that in there. Okay, so now that's done. And then all you have left to do is take a little piece of felt. And what I did for this was, took my scissors, I want to say I cut about six inches, okay, six inches, and what you're going to do is you're going to make like these little... strips right here and you're doing this so that you have a place for the baby to rest in the center but you're giving it that tied stork look at the top 
Okay. All right, so there, that's how I did that. And then I just tied a little knot here. Okay, you can add a little glue right here in the center between the two of these. See how I did that? I just cut the two little sides out and it gave me my little, like a little carry-all, that's all. So cut your piece out. See how I cut it here? Like that. And then you just cut little triangles so that you have a small area at the top to tie and then this. And then you add your little baby in there. And I glue, hot glued my baby in there, so you can go to the edge or however you want to do it, like that. Okay, so there's the baby. And we're just going to put the baby on the nose. Okay? Didn't work. The, you got to, like, make sure you... If, for some reason, this is, like, too... You can add a little hot glue down here just so the baby's head's sticking out. And that's what I think I'm going to do. Because I want enough room to be able to stick it on the edge of the stork, but I want to be able to see it too. Okay? So that's how I did that with the baby. And I think we got everything. Oh, we need to do the wing. The wing, 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 wing. We can't forget the wing. Okay. For the wing, all you're going to do is take another piece of wire just like we do the embroidery thread you're going to take like this okay and you're just going to make a curve like a loop like a flower loop you're going to do the same thing here just like i showed you to do when you're doing the embroidery and then you're going to take one of your feather boas and you're going to start wrapping it around here. And this is your wing. Okay. So we're going to take, you got to really hold this. Okay, you're going to add this on here. And you're going to do the same thing that you did with your embroidery thread. Now you got a nice fluffy wing. Okay, there's your wing. How quick and easy was that? Come on, I, I think this is really easy. If you just follow the steps that I'm telling you to do, and you're going to glue the feathers around everything, and you're just going to wrap, 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 and then you're going to add a little bit of glue. See, this is just it. These feathers are so funky, you got to figure out what you're doing. Isn't there a song, How Funky Is Your Chicken? Um, okay, so... You're going to add some glue to the end of your wire. See how I'm adding the glue here? So that your feathers have a place to be glued onto. So here is a bird wing. Bark, bark. Is that what that is? A bark, bark. Do storks, what noise do a stork make? Okay, so now we have this done. Okay, so now you're completely done. You got your nice little wing here. You got the outside feathers done. You've wrapped your little pink thing around. You did the flowers on the hat. You put the eye on. You put the beak on. You put the baby in the little blanket. You put the feet up there and you stuck them in there with the embroidery thread. And all you have left is your wing. And what you're going to do with your wing is, even though it's going to be fluffy, you're going to go to where you want it on the body. So it's going to be like this, all right? So, oh, I just threw the baby. Okay, so this is all full of feathers because you went in a circle and you glued them all down. And now all you're going to do is you're going to bring this as close to your canvas as you can. So you got to kind of feel your way in through there. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a zip tie and you're going to come up the back side and you're going to find out where your wing is at Okay, you're going to find out where your wing is at, and you're going to zip tie your wing in there. Okay, that's what you're going to do. And then you're going to take your hand, and you're going to hold on to the ring, and you're just going to pop it forward a little bit. And I promise you it will hold. I, it's like right now, I don't have mine completely done, but that is what you're going to do. You just want to make sure that it grabs the um, wire that's in there so you kind of got to feel around where it's at and it's it's a little difficult because the wing is the last thing that goes on see i'm not i'm 
hands-free it's holding now so you just want to make sure that when you pull your wing through this canvas that when you go to tighten that zip tie make it as tight as you can and once it's tight then you can make your little bend so that it looks like the wing is flying okay so i think we covered everything wire from the green wreath is from dollar tree this foam comes in a two pack this plastic canvas is sold in a full sheet. You're going to just circle the outside, trace it. You're going to zip tie it to here. You're going to take your feather boas and you're going to go all the way around. Okay. You're going to start right here and you're going to go all the way around and you're going to wrap the head so that the whole outside frame is done with feathers. Then you're going to take another one and you're going to start here and go in a swirl. If you have a little tail, move it up towards the head. Then you have this on here already. You're going to add your flowers here. You're going to have a cute little uh, way for your feathers to be at the top here. And that's because you trace the whole outside. You're going to add your feather boa just by putting it on there and tying it across like you would your own scarf. You're going to take your eye and you're going to use one of those plastic little tubes. And you're going to glue that on. You're going to glue on your eyelash. You're going to make your little beak with a piece of wire and wrap it with embroidery thread then you're going to make your little baby with um you're going to make your little baby with the with the um felt and then stick your little baby in there and you're going to stick your legs up here like this and you add your wing and you're all done so i hope that i was able to get to everything explain things to you where you can buy things this one is a little bit more difficult give yourself a little bit of time again this will be on my youtube channel click on my name you'll be able to see all the videos that i previously did and next week we have other things going on and i will post my um dollar tree haul because i got some really cool things this week too so that'll be on um saturday tomorrow i'll post that tomorrow afternoon so Good luck with this. If you have any questions, let me know. This is a beautiful, beautiful baby gift. It's a great way to have a birth announcement on the front door. Instead of the baby, you can make a little sign just delivered with the baby's name on it and the birth date. How cute would that be? And all you need are the four white feather boas, the pink one, and you may be able to find blue if you check at a craft store. Use a coupon so you can get it cheaper, but check your Dollar Tree and go online to see if you can order your feather boas there because I know they're hard to come by. Have fun. Um, I try to answer all of you. Thank you so much for watching my videos, following me on Facebook, and know that I appreciate all of you, and I hope that you're having fun creating yourself. Have a good night.